Good morning, ninth standard students. Containing the input devices in a computer. Let us continue with the another input device, which is mouse. So, mouse is an input device. It's a small device used to point to a particular place on the screen and select in order to perform one or more actions. So, it can be used to select menu commands, change the size of a window start programs etc so mouse is also called a pointing device it is called mouse because of its shape mouse is rolled over a flat surface and as you move mouse the pointer also moves on the screen in same direction and uh, various categories of mouse these days available are wireless cordless mouse and uh, uh, the types are of two uh, one is the mechanical mouse and another is a optical mouse so i have prepared a, a one note for you uh, for the mouse and uh, let us see that so this is the original diagram uh, picture of a mouse and uh, we can see this a mouse is a input device that is used with the computer and moving a mouse along a flat surface can move the cursor to different items. So we need to move a mouse on a surface. And uh, as we move the mouse, accordingly the pointer on the screen will move. So I, uh, the clicking or the pressing of the buttons are called clicking. When we press a button, uh, either this left button or a right button, they are called clicking and we have two mouse buttons the left button and the right button this is the left button and uh, this one is the right button in between we have a scroll button which can be used to scroll the page up and down many computer mice use wireless technology and have no wire so these days they have uh, bluetooth mouse or wireless mouse which can be attached to a computer so study forward there are many types of mouse optical mouse and a wireless mouse mechanical mouse trackball mouse a computer mouse is a handheld hardware device that controls a cursor in a GUI and can move the move and select text icons file and folders for desktop computers, the mouse is placed on the flat surface such as a mouse pad or a desk and it and is placed in front of your computer. The picture to the right is an example of a desktop. So here we can see the diagram of a mouse and uh, these are the internal part of a mouse. So this is a uh, mechanical mouse. Here we can see a ball in between and uh, the various the circuitry of that mouse if you open a mouse so this is how we are going to see uh, a mouse with the ball so the movement of this ball is tracked by the pointer on the screen and accordingly as the ball moves the pointer can be moved on the screen as well so the mouse was originally known as xy positional indicator for a display system and was invented so the who invented the mouse so he was Douglas Engelbach in 1963 while working at Xerox Park. Uh, however, due to Alto's lack of success, the first widely used application of mouse was with the Apple user computer. So this was the history of a mouse and uh, the, basically it was an idea of a person named Douglas Engelbach who invented the mouse. So then secondly, this is a, another example of uh, the different type of mouse which we call a uh, optical mouse so here we can uh, here it does not have any ball but it has a photo cell light detector and uh, it does the work exactly uh, what this ball was doing earlier and uh, this is led light emitter it emits the light and uh, this uh, moment of the mouse is again tra traced by and the pointer moves up on the screen so today this device is on a virtual every computer the primary function is to move the mouse pointer on the screen the mouse pointer can be used for many action on the computer clicking or double clicking an icon folder or other object will open 
a document or execute the program. User can also move an icon, folders or other object by clicking a mouse button and dragging the object with the mouse pointer. So a mouse is also used to drag the icon or an object on the screen. So for this we just have to click on the object, hold the left button and everybody this uh, user then can move an object on the screen. So when you point to something, a small box often appears that describes the item. So when we select uh, and uh, the object is highlighted, which lets us know. Next comes the scanner. A scanner is a device that captures image from photographic print, posters, magazine pages, and similar sources for computer editing and display. It works like a photo photocopy machine. The only difference is that photocopy machine gives output on a paper. On the other hand, scanner save a copy in computer. So this is a scanning machine used to scan any output, hard copy output to scan into a computer. So it could be any document, any uh, photo that we can scan on the computer. Here we can study more about scanners. Uh, these are used to capture a source document and convert into electronic form. The example of scanners are flatbed and handheld scanners. So here we have an image of different types of scanners. And uh, this is all-in-one scanner which can be used to take printouts also. And then this is a flatbed scanner. It, is, it works just like a photo, photo state machine. This is a drum scanner. And uh, you can see a handheld scanner also. And this is how this uh, scanner is used. Then comes the joystick. The joystick is a vertical stick which moves the cursor in a direction the stick is moved. It consists of a base and a stick that can be moved in any direction. The stick can be moved slowly or quickly. Some joysticks are very flexible and can also be rotated to the left or right. Joystick is mainly used to play video games. So this is a picture of a joystick and you must have seen it in the beauty parlor or the game parlor where uh, or maybe at home where we uh, can use it to play the computer graphical games. Next comes is a light pen. So it is a pen shaped pointing device used to select objects on the display screen. It works like a mouse but uses a light pen to move the pointer and the select any object on the screen by pointing to the object. You can draw directly on the screen with the help of a light pen. User of a computer edit design application commonly uses light pen to directly draw on screen so this is a light pen and um, it works similar to a mouse but uh, we can write or mark anything on the screen very easily just i am just giving example i am also using a light pen to point anything and it is very easy for us to write something with the help of a light pen because with this mouse it is very uh, inconvenient for us to write in such a way and for, to, for draw anything also light pen is used so light pen is more uh, convenient and easy to use so this is also a, a input device okay so Let's move ahead with the digital camera. So digital camera, actually it is a sort of input and output device. Uh, it is an example of input and output device both. Uh, let us study first about it. A digital camera is a hardware device that takes a picture like a regular camera but store the image as data on a memory card instead of printing it into a film. Many digital cameras are capable of recording video in addition to taking photos. So here we have a note that a digital camera may be considered both an input and output device. Okay, because uh, unlike the traditional camera, we can capture an image using this digital camera. So after taking a picture, we can also see the result same time. And uh, you must have used a digital camera and um, with your phone camera also, you can uh, take a picture and then uh, in that case, that device will be acting both as an input and output device because we, we are capturing an image using the camera on the device whether in a mobile or a 
digital camera and at the same time we are also viewing it we are viewing a image before taking a printout so it is also showing us the result so because it is showing us a result it it will uh, be a uh, output device also so we will consider it uh, both as input and a output device the next output device uh, input device is a OCR OCR stands for optical character recognition or optical character reader is the use of technology to distinguish printed or handwritten text characters inside digital image or physical documents so actually it is used to scan the images okay or any handwritten document that can be scanned and put directly into a computer so that we do not have to type it again and uh, or maybe in the original form if you want to scan any image any uh, textual document that can be done with the help of this optical character recognition here we have a very clear image of a OCR optical character readers and see how it is uh, it has been used to scan the document directly from a textbook or a notebook to a computer it will scan everything that is it that it is going over and then it will uh, keep it in its memory and then we can paste it in the computer so it's a very very convenient device for the scanning purposes and it is very handy also you can see next comes the magnetic ink character reader also known as micr it's a character recognition input device it is used mainly by the banking industry to ease the processing and clearance of check and other documents so micr stands for magnetic ink character reader and usually uh, it is used in banks for clearing the checks as it is uh, mentioning here because uh, to see the genuinity of a check this magnetic, uh, magnetic ink character user is used so uh, it is not a common device that we can see otherwise but only in banks we can see so here we can see that it reads data using magnetic ink it uses principle of magnetism to sense data which have been written using magnetized ink so whatever this codes and uh, data is written on the checks can be checked by the MICR readers so they are uh, it is used to check the originality and the generality of the checks so it is very useful device next next come the barcode reader and it's a set of line of different thickness and represent a number so you must have seen this type of barcodes on many of your products and uh, mostly it is seen in the malls where we buy product and each product has been labeled by this VCR barcode readers and uh, barcodes and these barcodes are read by the barcode readers it's a handheld device and uh, we have to just move the barcode reader over this bar uh, barcodes and it uh, contains many of the related information about the product and it can be directly read by this barcode uh, readers so barcode reader work on a shiny by the beam of light on the barcode and detecting the amount of light that is reflected back most product in the shop have barcodes item on them and barcodes on them and these are helpful in stores in order to maintain accurate inventory they help they also have to determine the price of an item so everything every information of the product can be read by the barcode readers as they are you know, mentioned um, in the form of barcodes next is magnetic stripe reader and magnetic stripe reader is a device designed to read the information stored within the magnetic stripe of special cards such as credit card atm cards so you must have seen such type of smart cards these days and uh, they are scanned over a device and uh, the device and uh, the, those devices have this magnetic stripe reader on them so that uh, when this swiping is done of for those card on these devices and they can read the information and they can read the information and then uh, accordingly the transaction has been done through this magnetic stride so next time when you go through this uh, process you must know that uh, the device contains the magnetic stripe reader in them so our next topic would be the output devices and uh, just like an input device it is also a main component of a computer and we can see all the information uh, output result through these output devices and in our next class we will study more about these output devices so thank you very much and take care